On to the fourth on the program, and race number four is a class four over the 1400 metres. It's also the first leg of potentially a big triple trio. Golden four heads the list here. Run up to Apex top last amount. Ultimate Glory, the 10 year old, gets the drop in class. Barrier 13 for him. Mighty power place in his three starts this campaign, as has been so awesome. Joe Moreira writes in for my, uh, me, Choi. Master Hero is the debutant for Tony Cruz. Smart Wong Choi, first up since uh, last season. Sun Sun Far Far hit the spot, uh, hit the place at last amount. Natural Winner rolled forward last time out, third at a big price. Diamond Ryan third last time out as well, behind Speed Fei Fei. And down to Demon's Rock, a last start winner on the all-weather. Over the 1,200 metres, gets up in trip here. And Righteous Win up in trip as well. Mighty Power, Smart Wong Choi and Diamond Ryan Tom are the horses that have been on the road. Pace might only be fair here. He was a surprise leader last time out, uh, natural uh, winner, and he was able to uh, be right up on the pace there. Smart Wong Choi has uh, trial up at uh, Chung Fa, and he's a horse that has led in the past. Demon's Rock, uh, he'll be handy somewhere from uh, gate number nine with uh, Jack Wong. Diamond Rhyme should be able to get a nice run through this time round because he had 14 last time. He's got gate three. Newcomer Master here on the fence there. Mighty Power and poor old Sure Winwin hasn't had much, much, much luck with the barrier draws. Golden four, he runs his race. He's run second at three of his last four starts and the other one he ran third. So uh, you know you're going to always get a race with him and his work's been good. He's been like this most of the season and uh, travels nicely. Uh, Mighty Power, he's been up here at Chungfa. He stretches out really nicely as well, does Mighty Power. Now the Blinkers will go on race day for the first time with him as well. Uh, and he just got beaten at his last start behind a sunny star. So quite a strong form race here. I haven't mind the work of this horse, Master Hero, uh, by Savabil, another one that's come out of the ISG uh, sale. Uh, just He seems to be improving all the times. And his last gallop, I thought, there the other day was pretty good. OK, we'll have a look at his uh, trial in a moment. Let's start off, though, with some race four. Golden four. Got a long way back here, Tom, as he generally does. Only just failed down to r run down Apex top. Yeah, it was a very busy finish on this occasion as well. He was narrowly beaten. There were five or six across the track there. He's been consistent. He's run two seconds for his uh, two runs this campaign behind Gogol, Latobi and uh, Apex uh, top here. And he really wound up strongly, sort of the last 150, Paul. Yeah, he had the 10-pound claim here, so he, he brought him down to 123 pounds. This is before Jerry lost his claim, and now he has to uh, carry 133. So that was only a little query. OK, mighty power. Beaten favourites uh, last time out. And um, just raced with the, the cowl on one side of the blinkers. They go back to the standard blinkers uh, this time round, Paul. Yeah, so just tinkering around there. I, I thought he came up to win this race as well. Uh, mighty power, he didn't lose by too much. Sunny star. Uh, did beat him, but uh, look, Sonny Star's quite a nice, he was a nice griffin and he's come on. So uh, no disgrace there. I, look, I'm going to go with him. I think he's going well and the blinkers should help. Yeah, he's going to win a race soon, I think. Uh, Mighty Power, he, he fought on uh, well here. That was also was so awesome finishing off nicely there for uh, Joe Marrera. He seems to be an improving type and I don't think a win for him's too far away either. Yeah, and you can see from Mighty Power the way that we're drifting in towards the rail. You can see why they've put the, uh, the traditional blinkers back on again. Diamond Rhyme, another horse that was beaten in a, uh, a close go last time uh, out, Tom, but uh, he's still looking for his first win at Star 20. Yeah, this was another busy finish, six across the track here. He was narrowly beaten. He stayed on strongly. That was out of gate number 14, so he gave plenty of cheek in this uh, outing did to Diamond Rhyme. Uh, crossover nose band goes on. He's a 19-start maiden pool, but he's drawn much better this, uh, for this assignment. He's going to get his opportunities, no question, from that uh, draw just whether he can uh, get his nose in front. He hasn't at this stage. And, um, look, he finished close enough up there in that race. Yeah, just on the bob. Now to the first starter, back at the trials, master hero, uh, Paul. What can you tell us about him? OK, so he's had four trials leading into this, 11.05 uh, pounds. Uh, this is a 1,600-metre trial. He was travelling really strongly, I thought, coming into this. Uh, he's by Savabil, so the, probably the further the better for this horse. He's going to start off here 1,400 metres, see if he can run a bit of a race fresh. Uh, look, I, I think the horse has definitely got some ability. He's drawn barrier one, so he should get a nice enough run. I'd just put him on a very minor line to keep him safe. Yeah, just behind world famous there, happy my brother, Legion Amir, I think Beluga in that uh, trial there as uh, well. Um, I think he'll certainly get over ground. Six million coming out of the ISG sale, a full two with Savvy Cope, a two-time Group 1 winner, over 2,400 and 2,000 metres. All right, still at the trials, Tom, but up at Chungfa this time round. Smart Wong Choi, first up since July. Haven't seen him for a while. He's uh, up 22 pounds on his last uh, assignment. He was a bit keen uh, last time out, but he ran on nicely here to... Uh, uh, win this uh, trial over the final stage. That's him in the black uh, cap uh, down the outside. Uh, two trial wins up at Chung Far as well as a, a sixth placing, but just happy to watch, Paul. Yeah, look, he's a horse who's always worked well in the mornings. He did go out and start 3.5 on his uh, debut run 
here in Hong Kong. He hasn't done too much, but uh, it was a nice enough draw. All right, interesting master here has come up 10 to 1 here, but So Awesome, our favourite, Paul, what do you think? Yeah, So Awesome is in the numbers for me, but I'm going to go with uh, the three here, Mighty Power, to beat uh, Golden Four here to carry the weight, So Awesome. And then we'll put Master Hero in there for fourth. Interesting to see how he goes. He could be one to follow out of the race. Three, one, four and five. One, three, four and two, my numbers. Going to stick uh, fast here with uh, Golden Four, 5.8 and 2.6, narrowly beaten in his last couple. Yes, he's got a little bit more weight to uh, carry, but he's knocking on the door. As to his mighty power and so awesome. And through the old boy, Ultimate Glory, 10 years of age, dropping back into Class Four. Last win came off 58. He's off 59 here. Just has an awkward stall. So one, three, four and two in the first of the TT. Yeah, with a $4.5 million jackpot. Estimated dividend of the $9 million. We've all got the three and four in our numbers there, so hopefully that's a good starting point for you. OK, that's the first leg of the TT. Next up for us, race number five, first leg of the six-up.